And Warriors head coach Steve Kerr is making a play for tougher gun laws. KPX 5's Kit Doe with that story. To the young people of the world, Coach Steve Kerr has a message. You are our only hope for change. I'm not going to be able to do it. Rose's not going to be able to do it. The old guys aren't going to be able to do it. It's the young people. You guys are going to do it. It's the next generation. It's the youth. You guys are going to do it. The Warriors head coach headlined a town hall meeting on gun violence today at Newark Memorial High School to motivate, inspire, and remind them that they have a power that they haven't been old enough to use until now. Number one, you can scare the hell out of people with, by voting. You scare the hell out. Okay. Kerr, whose father was shot and killed by terrorists in Beirut in the 80s, has long been vocal about gun control. He was joined today by Congressman Ro Khanna, who had a message for President Trump after the president changed his position on raising age limits and toughening background checks. He's backtracked, and I don't think this ought to be partisan. I don't think it ought to be political. I mean, what the kids are saying is, uh, let's get something done. Matt Dyche graduated from Parkland High School two years ago and says his brother and sister survived the deadly shooting but lost several friends. He says only one out of five young person votes. So if we can get two more people out of five, including me, to vote, then we can control every election and get leaders that care more about us and about public safety than they do about their wallet and about their position. I'm really, really thankful that you're here right now. Like, I'd hug you if I could. Oh, yeah. well, bring it in. Let's go. <laughs> For some Newark High School students, it was a pivotal moment. I'm a huge Warrior fan, and... Yeah, it just feels, it's amazing that he came here to share his opinion with us, and I'm happy he's trying to make us to make a greater difference in the community. And I believe in all of your collective generation's ability to make this your number one issue and to change the way our country thinks about gun safety. So thank you very much. And if you haven't heard, there is a huge worldwide march against gun violence on March 24th involving 600 cities. More than 3 million people have RSVP'd so far. In Newark, Kitto, KPIX 5.